egy országnak a szabadsága lemérhető a szülés szabadságán. Eighteen months ago, we began filming for One World Birth. We were in Strasbourg in France, and we first heard of a midwife who'd been arrested and imprisoned in Hungary. Her name was Agnes Gerib. I think about Agnes Gerib uh, with love. I would say Aggie is my hero. Agnes Gerib is the most wonderful person I've ever met. She's definitely a pioneer. What she's doing is really important. Um, I feel she's fighting for me. She's fighting for my, my child. Um, she's fighting for all of us. She's like, just like Jeanne d'Arc. Uh, she's a big fighter and, and she, did, she did a lot. What she did uh, during these 22 years for us, for the mothers, is just uh, beautiful and uh, and uh, makes me cry. Agnes is a midwife based in Budapest in Hungary. She has performed over 3,000 home births and has been helping the women of Hungary exercise their right to choose how and where to give birth uh, for many years. As a result, she's been persecuted by the Hungarian authorities uh, who outlawed home birth many years ago and have refused persistently to make it legal and to recognize women's rights. Uh, as a result, Agnes has been criminally prosecuted for assisting women for giving birth at home. Every country needs to quit harassing its home birth moms and parents and those midwives and physicians who feel inclined to help home birth. There are midwives all over the world who are being victimized, jailed, fined. Yes, there is a general witch hunt against midwives. Agi könyveit means this book is for me. I, I've got it in the prison uh, and uh, I was so moved because uh, these are letters from women who gave birth with me and pictures and... As a UK lawyer meeting Agnes and listening to the Court of Appeal verdict in Budapest, I felt very appalled and shocked um, that a fellow EU member state uh, could treat one of its citizens so abysmally and unfairly. I feel very angry about the way she's been treated, I feel very upset about the way she's been treated, but I remain very hopeful that she will get justice eventually in Hungary. I'm just keen that that happen as soon as is humanly possible. The reason why we're drawn to Agnes's story and the reason why this film has to be made right now is because Agnes's story epitomizes the very worst of what's happening with birth today. We're making a documentary film about the story of birth today. It is a film about how birth has been stolen by a powerful institutionalized system that is born of fear, a system that inherently believes that birth is dangerous and must be managed and controlled by modern technology. The rhythm of childbirth is nothing that fits within the sort of hospital environment and the hospital busyness that goes on at the moment. And yet what we're doing is advising all women to give birth in hospital. The issues have nothing to do with safety at all. The issues are to do with power. The power of big institutions like hospitals and the whole medical system takes over. And this is why it's a matter of human rights. We've made birth a profit-making industry. And the more fear that's there, the more greed and ignorance are also magnified. And when you put fear, greed, and ignorance together, you've got a really dangerous combination. That fear is introduced often into the discussion. And 
the provider who's introducing that may be doing it from a different perspective, either fear of litigation themselves, afraid to have a certain outcome, worried about what their peers would say about them and things like that. But when they direct the care to that patient, it causes them to do things that the patient may not want to do. The vast majority of practice in what I call a technocratic model of medicine, <clears throat> where it's about treating the body as if it were a machine and birth is a dysfunctional mechanical process. And you use every intervention in the book just to get the baby out because you don't trust the normal physiology of birth. So doctors don't encourage women to trust their bodies or trust their babies or trust the birth process because doctors themselves don't trust it. And all those interventions just really contribute to why women have you know, higher C-section rates, higher, higher um, operative vaginal deliveries, you know, forceps and vacuum, just because we're not letting their bodies do what it's supposed to do. A woman comes into the hospital healthy with nothing wrong, and just because the physiology of birth is not respected, this cascade of problems ensues and she ends up with a section that she didn't need. Women need to search for the birth experience they want. Um, the flip side of that if, is if they don't do that, they often get the birth experience that the business of obstetrics and gynecology has turned into. Our society is almost oblivious to this incredible travesty that happens to women. It's, it's an abuse of women. It's no less than abuse of women. It is a film that is also the story of a movement that is rising up around the world, a movement that is determined to take back birth. Who are we? Where's my anyway? And what do we want? Privileges for all! Let's go! Where's my anyway? Privileges for all! definitely making the, the voice and the message that we intended um, and just letting the town know kind of what's happening and this many women and children are kind of upset as to what's happening at the hospital. I think this is amazing, the response that we're getting even by the crowd, the cars driving by, is wonderful. There is hope. There are more women who are questioning this and I think there will be a turnaround. Women need to find a voice. And this can happen right across the world. This is the time when we have to make our voices heard. Now is really the time for action. Here's what you need to do to get the attention and to kind of gather that voice into a big, strong voice. I'm all the time getting evidence of the activity that's building up, the swirling commitment that women have is that women will take back childbirth we shouldn't have to, to fight for this. It should be something that we're granted. It's, it's so simple. We all need to stand up and fight for women's rights in childbirth because control has been taken away for women for far too long. And it's so important that we take action now and we promote natural birth and we do battle where battle is needed. Let's seize the moment and let everybody be involved in making birth better and changing the whole world of birth. Birth isn't something we suffer but something we actively do and exult in. We need your help in two ways. Firstly, we need to raise the budget to get this film finished. And secondly, we need your help to get this film distributed. We have to make a film that is going to send shockwaves around the world. But for maximum impact, we need that film to be free. And that's why we need your help right now. We need your help to make sure this film gets seen by as wide an audience as possible. And for that we have a plan that involves you. We want to hold 1,000 premiere screenings all around the world on one single day this summer. And we want you to hold them. We are passionate about this film. It's the most important film about birth that we've ever made and probably will ever make. And we just need that one final push just your help to get us across the finishing line so that together we will take childbirth back. One Wild Birth's really important film is going to fire people up, get them passionate, get them talking about birth, about taking back control over women's bodies. It's the most important issue there is in human rights at the moment and One Wild Birth is just so well placed to do it.